Hey guys, uh, so in March, which is pretty much right now, about 25 days from now, Warp Tour is announcing the full lineup for this year, all the bands that are going to Warp Tour 2016. And I decided to do a few videos that are a little bit different from what I would normally do on my channel just talking about who I think will end up being on the lineup and pretty much who I would just really like to see go and certain bands that I'll say probably won't go because of the type of band they are but I just personally would really like it if they did end up going. So to start things off, some 41. They have not been on Warp Tour since 2010, I believe, or 2011, whenever their last album came out. And since then, they haven't really been playing much because their singer Derek had kidney failure, I think, because of alcoholism, drinking too much, so they had to stop while he recovered. And then once he was fully recovered, they played at the uh, AP Music Awards uh, in 2015, and now they started touring again. Um, Sum 41 has already been announced for the Alaska date, the kickoff party for Warp Tour, so I feel like that's kind of hinting towards the fact that they might be on the full tour. If they're not, I'll be uh, like not very surprised because Sum 41 is pretty big, but I would really like it if they did end up going. I just feel like it would be really fun. I, I don't know. Second band that I can definitely see going is Issues because they're supposedly putting out an album sometime this year. Don't really know when. A lot of fans are waiting for it, but they haven't given them any information about when it's gonna be. I personally don't mind issues, but I don't really like them either just because, I don't know, T uh, Tyler's vocals kind of bother me a little bit, but I don't really have anything against them. I, I would possibly go see them if they were at Warps because, I don't know, Michael's vocals are enough to get me there, I guess. Ice Nine Kills, they uh, they put out their album Every Trick in the Book in December, which from what I've heard has been doing very good. And if you have not heard of this band before or you haven't heard that album yet, I definitely suggest that you check it out because the album is like a masterpiece. It is so damn good. Like. I listened to it the entire month of December once it was released, and I'm still listening to it now. But from what I've seen, Ice Nine Kills is really good live, so having them on Warped like they were in 2013 and 2014 would just be a lot of fun. And I really want to see them live personally. Crown the Empire is also a possibility for this year. They're putting out an album just like most of the bands I'll be predicting on this list this year. They've basically, because of Rise of the Runaways, they've just been doing headlining tours and touring with bigger bands all this time, but they were on Warp Tour in 2014 and I went and saw them live. They were spectacular live. They were amazing live. If you like that band, you should definitely see them live. It's just a whole lot of fun. Everybody's all like singing the lyrics and stuff. It's just a good experience. Um. Motionless and White could also definitely be another band that is going. They're getting signed with a new record label this year, which is pretty cool. And yeah, they're leaving their Fearless family on Fearless Records for whatever record label they're getting signed to. I assume it's a bigger record label, but I don't really know any other 
big like metalcore record labels other than Rise, and I don't think they would leave Fearless for Rise. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But they have a lot of fans that are very supportive of everything that they do, and their fans help them fight against people that like criticize them for the way that they look and sound. Their fans are just very supportive, and a lot of the fans of Motionless and White normally are in the warped scene, so I can definitely see Motionless going again. Another possibility is a day to remember. They went for one date in 2014 in, I believe, Chicago. Them and Linkin Park were there for one date, but since A Day to Remember has actually been on the tour, like the full tour, I think it was like 2010 or 2011, and it's it's just been so long, and they haven't put out an album since 2013, so I mean, if they do put something out this year, then it's definitely a possibility that they could show up on Warped. I just feel like they might be a little bit too big to actually be on the tour still. Um, like Moths to Flames is a- another definite possibility for bands. Some people, I, I don't know, some people might see them as just like average metalcore, but to me they're actually very talented, and their live performances are just so passionate and fiery, like, the entire crowd is normally good. If the crowd isn't good, then I just don't know what they're doing. But I could definitely see them as one of the metalcore bands on Warped Tour this year. And finally, for part one, I can see the word alive going on Warp Tour this year. They are putting out their album Dark Matter. They've already put out two singles, Trapped and Sellout, which are both very good. I have a lyric video for Sellout on this channel. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go and watch it so you know the lyrics. That's kind of what I do on this channel, but I haven't been listening to the word, word Alive that much until these singles. I've listened to Life Cycles before, and I'm not really sure how they are live, but I would definitely go and see them just because their new album, and also Luke Holland, because that drummer is magnifique, he good. But that does it for part one. Part two will be coming out soon after this. And, yeah, tell me who you think is going to end up on Warped Tour in the comments below. And, yeah. <laughs>